Hey guys, I wanted to revisit the last part of um, number six on the FRQ just because I had a lot of questions about it and I was a little uncertain when I did the video the first time and I had the chance to think about it and I actually wanted to uh, address it. So actually, I'm gonna tweak my answer but it's actually not very different and I want you to think about what we're trying to find is whether or not the machine is not working properly. So there's probably a few things I would phrase a little bit differently. What does it mean for the machine to not be working properly? It literally means that um, we want to determine if the machine is working properly. And there's two things that we care about. In the beginning of the prompt, they tell you, we want to make sure the machine is working properly. Um, the machine is working properly. The amount of gold is this much and the standard deviation is this much. So if it is not working properly, that means the mean is different from this and the stand or 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 one of the you know like both of these have to be working together. So the standard deviation must be five milligrams, and the mean must be three hundred milligrams. So we want to, in that context we want to decide whether or not the machine is not working. If one of those is broken, then the machine is not working. I think that's what they wanted you to ultimately decide here. So, do we have evidence? that it's not 303 milligrams. No, because we answered that in the previous part. So we're really linking just the, the, the two previous answers we said there. So where did we do that one here? So in part B2, we do not have enough evidence to say that the mean is off from 300 milligrams. Okay, okay that's fine. What about the standard deviation? Do we know the standard deviation is off by five mil, is it, is it five milligrams or more? Well, no, again, our answer in part C2, no, not C2, D, D1 says that, DI says that, well, we don't have enough evidence to say that the standard deviation is off either. So if we don't have enough evidence to say that the mean is off and we don't have enough evidence to say that the standard deviation is off, then we don't have any evidence that the machine is not functional, okay? So I might frame it this way. I would say for the machine, so I might, <clears throat> maybe I'll just, yeah. Let me, this is how I would write it out. For the machine to be working properly, for the machine, actually, let me just erase everything I put here. Okay, so let's just start over and just kind of pretend like, like you know, this is maybe what I tweak on the wording just slightly. Okay, I would say for the machine, okay, so, well, maybe I'll just say it this way. There isn't enough evidence to say the mean is not equal to 300 milligrams, nor is there enough, so, and you, and you can cite yourself, you could say, you know, like, um, you know, uh, from part uh, B2, nor is there evidence, enough evidence to say sigma is not equal to five milligrams, and this is part DI, Thus, we cannot, we do not have enough evidence, enough evidence to say, to say the machine is not working, right? I think this is exactly what they were looking for. They wanted you to connect the idea of there being two things that could be wrong with the machine and you did not find evidence that either thing was wrong with the machine, okay? So that, uh, now I can take off the asterisk. I actually feel pretty good about that answer now. So I hope that that makes sense and I hope that clears up um, the analysis.